Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. In today's episode, I thought I'd discuss a pet peeve of mine. Transferring inventory from a loot box into the store into the local storage. Um, I don't want to offend anybody, but when I see people on YouTube look at a loot crate full of stuff and start picking through it for a particular item type, well my head explodes. Because yes, I like to watch YouTube videos about Star Citizen 2. And seeing this causes me great pain, so I thought maybe that's something I should uh, touch on in a video. I'm sure you uh, see me do it whenever I go uh, running cargo or making deliveries. I'll usually stock up on sustenance. Um, today I thought I'd go through my process for transferring inventory uh, around quickly and, and somewhat easily. Interestingly, I use voice attack to accomplish uh, the transfer, and yet I don't use the voice recognition software piece, uh, just the macro engine. I put the links to my voice attack videos if you think this is for you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the left side. This is just a just a demonstration, obviously, but. We're in my uh, in my uh, Avenger right now, so I'm going to set up the left side as a location like a mining facility. So we're going to pretend my vehicle is actually the mining facility where we would transfer whatever items I'm pulling out of the loot crate into uh, into the uh, mining location, and then that would make the right side the loot crate. So this is all my all the stuff I found in this huge loot crate. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so anyway, what I do is I open up the, well to start with, I open up the filters, this little tab here, and in, in the, uh, the location where I want to transfer the inventory to. I always select other. Other always ends up being the uh, harvestables that I don't, I don't trade in yet, so it's always empty for me. So I click on other, that leaves it empty here, but I found it, it's useful for voice attack sometimes, but it's something, sometimes it gets confused when it transfers things over and if there's already items in there. Sometimes it lands items on top of items and Star Citizen has problem, their inventory system has problems with it, so I found it better if it's, um, if it's empty, so I just pick other. So what will happen is as things come in like uh, say sustenance, it'll end up in here in this tab, but since we're looking at other, it'll just disappear right away. Then I close the filter again. And then I come over here and, you know, I got all this stuff, but, you know, I don't want all this stuff. Like, I don't want clothes. You know, I, I really just don't care about clothes. And I don't, like I said, I don't care about the harvestables. So what I'll do is I'll go through the filters here and I'll pick out each one. And usually I'm look, only looking for sustenance anyway most of the time, but I'll go through each one and I'll decide if do I want you know the armor, do I want the undersuits? I don't care about clothing, do I want the weapons? It, it could be I'm over at uh, Daymar doing a gun run. Uh, utility is always good because you know that's where I get all my free tractor beams from and and uh, multi tools. But like I said, usually I'm going for for sustenance. So at the very least, if you even don't use voice tech, if you just do this much, at least you're you're. Um, you're only looking at the items that you're interested in. You don't have to spend a lot of time paging through stuff looking for, you know, an apple or something. But now with voice attack, let's say I want to transfer all, this was all the sustenance in this loot crate. You know, a lot of people will do this. And this takes forever and would just drive me nuts because this is not the only loot crate that I'm going to be, you know, picking through. So instead I use, uh, I use um, voice tack, which, you know, lets me do this. So I'm not doing anything right now. Voice tack's doing all of it. And it's transferring every little piece over. And then when it's done, I just press, what I'm doing is actually I'm pressing a key on my keyboard to start and stop it. Oops, it stopped a little too soon. I'll just do that one manually. Um, but now I assigned the, uh, the macros that I created through voice tack to keys on my keyboard. So I picked, um, uh, left alt one to stop any voice tech commands that are going on. Uh, alt left alt two to do a transfer left of items, and then uh, left alt three to transfer items right. 
So, for instance, now we're now we're on our on our ship, and we want to transfer everything from the um, the location we're at. In this case, we want all our sustenance, and we want to be able to transfer it onto our ship. So I do the exact opposite. Um, I, I pick, I go through the filters, I pick out sustenance, close the filters again, and then come on over here and pick other because I don't want to. Uh, of course, I got I, I bought one of these stupid containers. I was interested in what they would do. They're so useless. I'll dump it over here. Anyway, so I put on other because I know that's going to be empty. Close the filters, and then I just do uh, left alt uh, three and it automatically starts transferring all of my items over. And then when it's done, I just press uh, Alt-Left-1 and it'll stop the transfer process. So very painless, very quick. Um, you know, I is so much, and we can go we look and see it's there. So there's all our, all our sustenance back again. Um, it's just so much easier than, you know, doing that. That would drive me nuts if I had to do this for multiple loot boxes. And you know, you've seen me going through multiple loot boxes at uh, you know, when I do my cargo runs, or especially doing cargo runs. That's the first thing I do before I actually buy my cargo. I'll run into the storage location. I'll run into the uh, the habitation section. You know, the habitation uh, building. I'll run into mining control building, and I will basically take everything they got. And I will then, and then of course, usually what ends up happening though is I, I then get in my ship and fly away and I forgot to transfer it from the location to my ship, which pees me no end. But, um, but anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I, I know I've discussed it before, but um, a lot of times the videos get buried and people forget they're even there. So I just wanted to kind of bring this back up to the, back up to the top again. And in case anybody hadn't, hadn't seen this or weren't aware that, that this was an option uh, with uh, Star Citizen. So, anyway, like I said, that was quick and easy and painless. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a great day. Scrap Chat out.